the royal party arrives in Saudi Arabia late at night on the first leg of a four-day, four-country slog. But the prince likes Arabia and is enthralled by the culture of Islam. I think we've tended to look at the East as being rather primitive and underdeveloped and everything else. And uh, I feel that the time has come to remind people in the West, if they can be reminded, of, of the, the important things that we can still learn from the East and from Islam. King Fahd, the most powerful man in the Gulf, has been so taken by the Oxford speech that he accords the prince an unprecedented honor. At three o'clock in the morning, the king leaves his palace to welcome the prince at his guest house. Because he, his father and grandfather... His After the small talk, the king and the prince discussed Islam at length in an atmosphere so cordial that the foreign office was delighted. He's been a great asset to, to the life in, in London, I can assure you. The royal yacht is in the Gulf showing the British flag, a flag which the prince believes could be flown to much greater effect. I've tried in the past to bring uh, all the different parties together, from the Foreign Office, the British Overseas Trade Board, the Department of Trade and Industry, and all these other characters, to work out how we can make a, a particularly British impact in any country that I visit, because it seems to me to, it's important to build on the, any atmosphere or whatever one may create. And, and, coordinate the whole approach. But it's very difficult to do it. Why? Don't ask me. Ask them. But there are amazing things you can use now, aren't there, to, to, to eat up the oil in a, in a biological way. Apparently they did this with that Exxon Valdez, do you remember the spill in Alaska? Yeah. We're a bit worried about that because it is possible that you introduce some sort of a bacteria that is not uh, commensurate with the environment. Oh, the environment is, exactly. So we're trying to grow our own bacteria really? and introduce it. To do the... Now I heard of environment. Now I heard of a British, <laughs> I heard of a British company recently. They sent me the, who, who produced these mattresses made of straw. Right. Right. Now that's very, that's which very apparently very works brilliantly, yes. and you put it on the sea, and it yeah. soaks very it up. Wise. It doesn't have any side effects. Apparently not. No, it's wonderful. Yeah. The only trouble is you've got to get rid of the straw matches. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't do so much. You know, think how yes. much service you have done to no, I am glad. saving the architecture. No, no, no. But just reminding people that there's another. That's a great uh, reminder. Way of looking at things. Yes. I tell you, I was just such a great admirer of Hassan Fati. I'm one of his... Who, were you one of his students? Yes. Maybe see, the man also, I think, is wonderful. There's another of his students called um, Abdul Wahal al yes. who I hope will be... I want him well, to design the Oxford Islamic well, Centre. <laughs> he's no, very elusive. I saw him in um, Samarakan oh, about 10 oh, days did ago. Oh, oh. So I, uh, I'm running around like a... Between architecture and yes. business, we have yes. perfumery. He's yes. the biggest yes. perfume yes. manufacturer yes. in this Really? Oh. And he's going to donate yes. some to you. So yes. Really? Nice. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. But I'm, I rather like that um, you call the oil of oud, yeah, I which is marvelous stuff. You know everything. I, well, I know a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and what about, do you get back to the UK occasionally or not? Yeah, I have to go back to the summer. summer. Did you get any money for your teeth when they came out? No, did I you? Did. I wish I could remember. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout the Gulf, the prince has been told that his respect for Islam is not reflected in Western attitudes towards Bosnia. As you know, I mean, they watch the television, so many people now, and they see all these horrors going on in Bosnia. And this is the other thing that came through to me very much, was the extent to which they feel, wrongly, I think, that, that what is happening there with the Muslim uh, uh, ethnic groups in, in, in Bosnia is, is, is a, an attempt by European Christianity to drive the Muslims out of Europe. And I don't know how you get through. Yes. That question is, is, and all these sort of things seem to build up to, to a head of steam, don't they?